You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Tom Cruise eyes Days of Thunder sequel. Man. Whoa. He doesn't get tired of making money. Money's good. Greed is good. Not greed, but money. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Little, little, little news flash here. We're just getting this uh, minutes from uh, about less than an hour. The actor producer is exploring a follow up to his 1990 NASCAR racing film while also developing a Top Gun Maverick sequel and figuring out the future Mission Possible franchise. It's got a lot going on. Yep. That's three IPs there, plus the Inarito movie that he's supposed to be filming. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah. Dude, on the works. surface, on the surface, the idea seems rather bold. Thunder wasn't considered a box office hit, making 157 million globally with a production budget of 60 million. And the film received mixed to negative reviews from critics. But having revived and modernized 84's Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick, the actor believes he can work similar magic with his racing drama. Which, like the Top Gun, was produced by Don Simpson and directed by Tony Scott. A Thunder revival has been floated around. Paramount once pitched a reboot. An idea that had uh, was a television idea that he had nixed. Hmm. Now, key factors here include the project script. The studio's out to potential writers now. So there's no script. Nothing. Maybe there's an idea of a script. Concepts of a script. You like that? Uh, the 62-year-old producer, actor, slash, local, pack, has a packed schedule. Cruz is about to start shooting the Revenant filmmakers in Yaritu's mysterious next film for Warner Brothers Legendary, developing a Doug Lyman movie for Universal that's set in actual space. And he's developing a sequel to Maverick, which Cruz and Paramount both consider a top priority. He's talking to Paramount about Top Gun and Days of Dunder, says a studio insider in the discussions who's familiar with that. It's going to be what comes together first in terms of a script. It depends on the idea and ultimately the script. <laughs> I mean, this is like, all right, this is just like, this is, this is really a concept. This is like, we, we got concepts of a movie. Um, racing films have been rather fashionable lately. You got Ferrari, you got Ford versus Ferrari. You're going to have F1 coming out next year. Brad Pitt, you know, and Brad Pitt is a film junkie, uh, mm -hmm. excuse me, an adrenaline junkie. Right. So there's that too. And you had Keanu Reeves just uh, star, I think it was uh, uh, in the Toyota, like uh, those Toyota racing. He just uh -huh. raced like his first race. His schedule truly is like perplexing to me right now because I'm not even sure that they're done filming Mission Impossible. Right, yeah, you know, but he's got the thing where he can basically do it himself. Like he can just, I'll put put well, some change in it, right? Okay, well, let, let, let's get back to this, right? Because it, right. they're explaining all this right now, and like you said, you know, with Keanu Reeves, uh, Nicole Kidman. Um, then there's Mission Impossible, which is finally wrapped and is in post production. The project has had a long and difficult journey with a budget that's reportedly approaching four hundred million amid production delays. What? Wow. <clears throat> While the franchise remains very popular and the 2022 seventh entry, Dead Reckoning Part 1 drew largely rave, scoring 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, it wasn't a, a big hit. Nearly $300 million in budgeting marketing. The box office return was considered disappointing. Yeah. $566 million globally. Mm. so wow. there's a lot here guys uh we will put a link to this story but it says i think tom's in a good place at the end here the studio insider noted and i think mission is going to be really good um it's gonna have to be i i think we can all agree that he's gonna have to continue making successful films if he wants to do something like this Right. And then if he wants to do anything, any of the like the mysterious Inarito films, those don't have to be a hit because that's gonna be more considered like this is my Oscar contender. Right. His other ones are gonna have to be gonna have to be, you know, 
you know, B hits. Yeah, and, and it's uh, not costing them that much, right? How much yeah. is that need to read to fam? <clears throat> but let us know what you guys think. Thank you so much. Crazy. Oh.